beautiful modern enclosure and it seems to be really reliable. And for 69 bucks, you get 11 really interesting modes. You're gonna get some of these modes that you don't even really hear in the Grand Canyon and stuff that's just unusual. It's just uh, atypical. Some of them that are really tasteful and inspiring that almost inspired me to start like writing riffs and songs right there. And uh, I'm the worst at that, I, you know, it, it, it doesn't come often, but when uh, something inspires me, you know, it's, it's a great thing. Okay, uh, I really like the lo-fi mode, which was a, uh, a bit crusher, really rich sounding, throaty, nice bit crusher, which is an effect I never liked before, but this is, it's not thin sounding, it's, it's thick. Um, I also really like the tremolo mode. I think uh, the pedal is worth it just for that mode alone. Um, it's stereo ins and stereo outs, so this is a true stereo pedal. So you could bring two little amps with you, or two of them. Use this, you know, with a couple of different cables going in on, on this side, that side. It's not that hard to do. Um, I'm not going to get into that right now, but it's it's pretty easy to figure out. Um, you just need a few, eh, a few more things, some cables and stuff. But uh, yeah, you could use two little mini amps and have stereo effects. So while your stuff is, you know, ping-ponging back and forth, down, 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 left and right speakers, um, it'll happen live, you know, in concert, which is amazing, you know. Um, 69 bucks. Um, it's not noisy. I thought it uh, might have had like a little whistle when I plugged it in at first. But I had it in, um, I don't know, bad power or something. The second time I plugged it in, it was dead quiet. So um, right now, uh, I'm very happy because uh, it's a really useful pedal and it's super cheap. So I've got my Grand Canyon for looping and stuff. And then this I'm going to be using for special effects and stuff, which I think is really cool. Because the special effects on this are just uh, unlike anything else. The tremolo delay is fantastic. There's something called reverse, and then there's a reverse tape. Um, the reverse tape is sort of like a reverse reverb, no, reverse delay with um, with added modulation, like a chorus pedal too. They've got uh, modulated, which is a chorus vibrato kind of thing. Uh, goes, you know, very, very uh, seasicky to, you know, very mild, classic uh, chorus. It's very uh, adjustable. There's um, there's a lot of different modes on here. There's a tape mode, uh, it's like analog. There's a digital mode, I think they call that pure. Uh, a pitch shifting, which is a little odd. It's not like perfectly tuned. You have to really, you know, use that dial and just tune it in right to get an octave and stuff. But um, it is cool though, the pitch shifting was good. Um, I don't think there was anything here that was a throwaway or a bad, uh, uh, a patch and I didn't have any complaints at all. So you've got you've got tape Which is analog Then there's something called tape. Um, so there's tape analog and pure. I don't know what the, di the difference is pure is digital Analog is like, you know, I guess similar to tape. It has kind of like a high-end roll-off on each repeat kind of like fades out um, Gets a little more, you know, broken up um, like a roll in space echo. Modulated is like a chorus vibrato sounds, more like a chorus. Lo-fi is a bit crush. Reverse, is like backwards reverse sounding. Reverse tape is uh, reverse with modulation. Pitch shifting, self-explanatory. You know, you could get higher, you could go lower uh, pitch. Tremolo is beautiful. Tremolo, it's a, just a really nice pulse, you know, like a great soft pulse. It could go really fast and choppy. Or it could go slow and warble. It's really nice and moody. A uh, tube is almost like a fuzz or overdrive that they put in with the echo. And then the, the last one is called ping pong, which is when they just ping pong left, right, left, right. You know, the delays are going back and forth in the room. Uh, to really take advantage of that, you have to use two cables. You know, You've gotta have like a, a stereo effect happening. Um, there's tap tempo right here. There's also different modes here, three modes, like three different uh, kind of modes of operation. Tap tempo mode, hold mode, which is like a looper. I have not tried the looper yet. And mute mode, which is, uh, I don't even know what that is. I think that's just part of the, the looper, basically. 
Um, so we're going to leave it in tap tempo mode, which is when the uh, LEDs are on green. I'm going to plug it in right now, and uh, let's see how this thing works. All right. I'm using uh, humbuckers. This is a Reverend Flat Rock Anniversary Edition and uh, a Marshall DSL 40. Alright, that's the power. And we've got left and right. I'm plugging them both into left. It seems to work fine when I'm going mono. Alright. Tremolo mode is my favorite. I think we'll try that first. Oh, one other thing. The, um, the delay time on this is extraordinary. You know how like almost every delay like that's under 200 bucks or under 150 seems to have the same like delay time? They kind of all have the same bucket brigade chip or something. Well, this one being digital and um, just a better pedal, I guess, um, has like really long delay time. I believe it's four seconds. Not milliseconds, it's four full seconds. So you could do that Brian May stuff, you know, where you play along with yourself, you know, that now I'm here, bum, 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 you know. Um, the delay time was really, really long, which I thought was extraordinary. Um, it takes a second or two for it to catch up when you set it, you know, that way. You have to wait just a couple of seconds and then it kind of digitally catches up. But, and the delay pulsing. No distortion, no artifacts, no whistling, no squealing. It seems quiet. Let's mess around with this a little more. Let's make it choppier. Just a little between the two. Try 
like some other stuff. Lo-fi has got this cool big crush. Almost works a little like a uh, overdrive. I've never had a big crush this good before. <laughs> That's in effect, you could just write songs with that, you know. That's a feature I've never heard on any delay. I don't think I have that even on my Grand Canyon. Great lead tone, I 
really like that verse tape. <laughs> yourself so mm -hmm. so you could turn yourself to a bass or to a really high piccolo kind of thing mm -hmm. neutral and going past 12 is going to make the note higher below 12 o'clock is going to make the note lower mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Ой, что я мало говорю.